The ancient city of Benin came alive on September 5, 2014, as Nigerians from all spares of life came together to celebrate with Chief Dr. John Odigye Oyegun as he celebrated his 75th birthday. Chief Oyegun, a prominent son of Edo State, was born on August 3, 1939, in Wari Delta State. He attended St. Patrick's College at Saba Delta State, Nigeria. He went on to study economics at the nation's premier university, the University of Ibadan, and graduated in 1963. His academic resourcefulness and brilliance, among other things, earned him employment in the federal ministry and after 13 years of service, was appointed a permanent secretary at the young age of 36. In search of more challenges, Chief Oyegun retired from the service and ventured into business. Due to the successes he recorded, his kingsmen urged him to make himself available for greater service to his people. He presented himself and rode against huge tides to emerge the first civilian governor of Edo State on the platform of the Social Democratic Party, SDP during the Transition to Democracy program launched by General Ibrahim Babangira and served from January 1992 to November 1993. Later, he became a leader of the All Nigeria's People Party, ANPP. Chief John Oyegun was on June 13, 2014 elected as the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Litu won that then, that the creme de la creme of the society converged to celebrate this illustrious Nigerian. The well-attended church service, which was held at St. Paul's Catholic Church, Airport Road, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria, had in attendance the executive governor of Edo State, Comrade Adams Oshomole, the governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi, APC Chieftain Honorable Lai Mohammed, Imo State Governor, Rochas Okorocha, renowned politician and elder stateman, Audu Ogwe. Also present to honor Chief John Odige Oyegu was the Esama of Benin Kingdom, Chief Dr. Sir Gabriel Osararu Ibinidian, Senators Chris Ngige, amongst many more. The entrance antiphon was the first on the order of the Holy Mass. The opening prayer commenced on the introductory rites. The celebrant's wife, Chief Mrs. Victoria Odige Oyegu, read the first lesson from the Bible. It was taken from the book of 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 5 and 1 Kings chapter 7 verse 12. In those days, A responsorial hymn followed, the second reading, taken from Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 17, was done by the first son of the celebrant. After the reading from the Gospel according to John, the man of God gave an insight into the background of Chief John Odige Oyegun. He said that celebrating a life that spans 75 years is no small feat. Relating his sermon to the scriptures, he said that Chief Oyegun had come to give thanks in line with the words recorded in Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 17. The clergyman said that Chief Oyegun was a light that will continue to shine for the world to see. The spirit and ideals of our patron St. Paul to drive you to proclaim the good news to the ends of the earth. As we thank God for his mantle blessings on you and your family, past blessings, present blessings and future blessings, we urge you 
in the spirit of the new evangelization to proclaim the gospel. The cleric's speech was followed by prayers for the church, the celebrant, his family, the underprivileged, the guest, and Nigeria. After offertory hymns, special thanksgiving songs were rendered by the choir. At 75, Chief Oyegun had so many reasons to dance and praise God. His family, political associates, friends, and well wishers joined him to do the same. As part of the Thanksgiving, Chief and Chief Mrs. John Odigie Oyegu took part of the Holy Communion. After singing and dancing to hymns, the celebrants showered gratitude on all dignitaries present for taking time to celebrate with him. He gave thanks to God for seeing him through life's journey. members of uh, various other professions taking time off to celebrate with me. A photograph session involving the celebrant, his family, APC governors and senators, party chieftains, and members of the clergy followed. Thereafter, all roads led to the venue of the reception, where guests wined and dined in celebration of the life achievements and times of Chief John Odigie Oyegun, the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC. The reception commenced with the arrival of the celebrant, governors, senators, party chieftains and other distinguished guests. Benin cultural dance and other traditional displays kept guests entertained. A prayer with traditional rite was performed by a Benin chief with the Kola knot. The chairman of the occasion, Governor Rochas Okorocha of Imo State, gave the opening remarks. The governor said the celebrant reminded him of the Holy Bible portion where John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water, but he that is coming after me will baptize you with Holy Spirit. He said that Chief John Oyegun had a similar message today change for the time has come. Governor Okorocha reminded the celebrant of the love and support the governors, senators, people of APC have for him. He thanked the people of Edo State for their support of APC. Your Excellency, my personal chairman and his lovely wife, you are the reason why we are here and are here gathered to give all to you by here Canada to celebrate excellence, greatness, patriotic devotion, by here to celebrate the man who has 75 distinguished like 50 years old law. Who says you are ending grateful? Edo State Governor, Comrade Adams Oshomole, had a few words for the celebrant. The reception party had as its highlight cutting of the huge birthday cake which had the age of the celebrant boldly written on it. It 
was fun to watch Chief Oyegun take to the dance floor with his beautiful wife. He was joined by Governor Rauf Aregbeshola of Oshun State and the Edo State Governor, Comrade Adams Oshomole. Senator Ungige refused to be left out of the party as he joined them to boogie down to Sir Victor Waifo's classic song, Jerumi. <laughs> A number of Benin traditional dance and music followed. For those who belong to the golden old days when music was much more appreciated for its message, the song titled Que Sera Sera evoked nostalgic memories. Governors Adams Oshomale and Aregbe Shala, Senator Chris Ungige, and the celebrant, along with his wife, held each other's hands as the band rendered the golden oldie which to date remains fresh in the minds of the golden generation. The 75th birthday celebration of the All Progressive Congress APC National Chairman, Chief John Odige Oyegu, couldn't be more interesting. A toast to the celebrant with the all too familiar song, Jolly Good Fellow, brought the occasion to a happy end. <laughs> 